This is The Great Expanse by John Bat 426 and we're talking about Secret Invasion. And this was the finale. I was like, what? Only six episodes? This is whack. I was like, why would they condense the series this much? I thought it was going to go at least 10 or 12 episodes. I really did. I thought it was going to last throughout the summer. But it's just something for the month of July and with the last two weeks of June. Uh, I really thought I was going to go further than just six episodes. So I was came into the episode a little down about that. I'm like, they're giving us the low-key treatment where they like just shoehorn everything in necessary. They have to have their obligatory like tie-ins to whatever's coming next. So I'm gonna give this finale a grade. And it's a C. C. This was the worst episode of the series. The, fin the finale was so weak to me. I'm sorry, it was weak. Uh, I, the best part was probably the uh, the discourse between Gravik and who I thought was Nick Fury. You know, because they're both, you know, kind of coming from the heart. You know, Nick Fury talking about, yeah, I failed you guys. He said, I think a year or two in, he realized that he couldn't find a new planet for the scrolls, you know, a new home, home world. And he said that was his promise. It, you know, they flash back to DH Samuel L. Jackson as Nick Fury. And his promise was, if you guys help me on Earth, keep the peace. He said, I will help you find a home world with the help of Captain Marvel, Carol Danvers. And it turns out not to be Nick Fury, which was smart. And it turned out to be Gaia. And this is where the episode went downhill. The fight between Gravik and Gaia was so whack to me. I'm sorry, it was weak. For some reason, only Gravik looked like a scrawl. They would have the arms of known character. Like, the faces didn't change. It was stupid. This was a stupid fight. Gaia only had her arms, because I guess Amelia Clark wanted more face time. So, so her whole body was regular, just her arms. So she's, like, running with, like, a, a Drax arm. Sometimes she had the Call Obsidian arm. I think they had a Hulk arm, and pro I thought probably the Abomination or something. But, like, I think one time they turned into Groot, somebody. The arms. Just the arms. Super Scroll was, like, Hulk Scroll looked like. And this fight was so corny to me. I'm like, as soon as they started doing all this, like running towards each other in these close-ups, I'm like, this is a poor fight. This is poor. Okay. And I'm like, they both have all these powers. I'm like, how is she able? To... And of course, Gaia killed Gravik, which was whack to me. She like punched a hole in him or something. I'm like, really? Can you really punch a hole through the Hulk? The Hulk! Or the Abomination? Can you really punch a hole through the Abomination? And I'm like, okay, this is bad for a lot of reasons. Hulk DNA? You can't just process Hulk DNA in genetics. The fight was stupid. Okay. So, again, Gaia went as Nick Fury. So Nick Fury really wasn't there. But Olivia Coleman was good, even though I don't know how she even got into the hospital where the president was. The president of the United States was recuperating in this facility. How did she get in in the first place? Then she did the whole, like, hey, Fury's on his way. And, like, he didn't verify anything. Uh, I forgot the name of the scroll that was, like, replacing Rhodey. He's like, all right, guys. Check down this hall. Check, you know, they're like all getting. I was like, you know, you don't even know who said this. Like, like I said, there's no verification, and I know Rhodey's job was just to get the president to launch the nuclear strike. Okay. So then, like, it's sort of Batman style. Somebody looks here, and guy gets yanked out of frame. No. And another guy, like, Ugh. and then a lot of people just being shot by dark. <laughs> Then Rhodey opens the door and Olivia Coleman is just standing there with a gun. And he's like, I'm like, don't you have a gun too? Like, I, I, I didn't get that. But I know he he, he was concerned about self-preservation because the job was to get the president to launch the nuclear strike on Russia. So so that's basically all, all it was about. Okay. So then Nick Fury finally comes in because he was helping to take these guys out, I guess, with the train darts. And so... The president says to one of the Secret Service men, while Rhodey is kind of like mobilizing the uh, Secret Service because they think Nick Fury's on the way. My thing would have been, why didn't the president say Nick Fury brought me in? 
like, Nick Fury saved the president's life and the president was conscious when he saw him. So, uh, that was dumb to me. Like, he's like, wait, Nick Fury? So, like, the whole fact that Nick Fury had to go on the run was, like, retarded. I'm, I'm sorry to use that word, but that was retarded to me. So, the president has a gun. Olivia Coleman, remember, she's holding the gun to uh, Rhodey, and he's like, sir, just launch the nuclear strike. And Nick Fury's holding a gun, and I'm like, just shoot him! So he'll turn into a scroll. Like, why are we talking about this? Soon as Samuel L. Jackson came in, he should have said, boom, and just shot him. Three people have a gun. Olivia Coleman, the president, and Nick Fury. Why didn't he just shoot Rudy right then and there and he turned into a scroll? Why is all this talk? Like, what? what? Really? So after Gaia kills Super Scroll, she frees all of the American hostages. So we see Martin Freeman, okay? Obviously, he was kidnapped. Rhodey was the only one in a hospital gown, so he was there the longest. Uh, the guy with the big hair that got uh, replaced, I think, in the very first or the second episode. I'm not sure. He was there. And so Nick Fury says, all right, Mr. President, you have to do something about this, you know, scroll invasion or whatever. You no, know, because we don't know what they are. We don't know. They could be anybody. So the president gets on and gives this, like, what are those people? The proud, a proud boy speech. Talk about we're gonna kill all of you. When I heard that, I was like, oh god, this finale just got worse. This finale just got worse with that announcement or that press conference the president held. Then Nick Fury says, like, great hate speech that you just, you know, announced or whatever. Like, then you just see like Christopher McDonald just get shot on live television. I'm like, this is getting stupider. This is getting dumber. People just walking up to these like celebrities they have no protection they have no security they're just like he shot the one lady at the podium another lady like and, and they say they were killing innocent humans too thinking they're scrolls or whatever like why wasn't this incorporated into the series instead of just like this last montage of people dying and, and you know innocent good scrolls i mean a human isn't going to think a scroll is good period because they're alien i'm like this really could have been incorporated into the length of the episode. I mean, the series, excuse me. Like, one episode or two devoted to this. This is bad. This finale is poorly paced, and I hate when people say that, but this was poorly paced. Things are going too fast, and it's like, then the Fury leaves? I'm like, wait a minute. He said vigilantes are just going around killing innocent scrolls. So for the memory of Talos, I mean, like, your friend for 30 years that helped you keep the peace on earth why would you leave then it didn't like it ends with priscilla driving up to the glen you know where nick fury's gonna beam back up to the ship for some reason when like hysteria is gripping the, the countryside and he says the kree wanna wanna uh, negotiate i'm like the kree why would the scrolls dare to negotiate with their eternal enemies, the Kree. And he says, you're the best diplomat or negotiator for the scrolls. So why wasn't she in charge all these years then? Like, this is such cap. This episode was whack to me. Whack. So then he beams up, and you already know he's going to be in the Marvels. And this, this episode, just, this finale just really left a bad taste in my mouth. I'm gonna give this episode a C minus. This was a this was the worst episode of the series, the finale. It sucked. That fight, garbage, garbage. C. And I'll I'll say in this order, uh, because the episodes got better from two to five. They got better and better. Two, three, four, and five. So I'm gonna go in descending order from best to worst. Five, four, three, two, one, six. Horrible finale. Horrible. I should give it an F, but it wasn't that bad. It was just, I can't believe how bad this finale was. And again, I, I don't understand why the series was so abbreviated. Six episodes? Come on, Marble! Kevin Feige, did you watch this episode? The big, uh, uh, so, so one arm, I'm talking about, I'm referring back to the fight between Gravik and Guy. Just the arms and the whole body, like this was stupid! And I don't care if that was shot for shot from a comic. Somebody might say, well, that's how it's in the comics. Stupid. Stupid. Why didn't they just turn into the person? Like, she had one Drax arm. Why didn't she just turn into Drax, period? 
or Coal Obsidian? Why did you just turn into Coal Obsidian? Or the Hulk? Or Captain Marvel? Like, because they like flew up to like medium Earth orbit or something. This sucked. This sucked. C minus. Uh, Secret Invasion. Almost said Scroll Invasion. Secret Invasion finale. C minus. It stunk. No. This is, let me bring my voice down because it seems like it's loud to me. But this has been the great experience by John Matt 426. Like the video or dislike the video. Express why you think this was a great finale. Again, this was a very good series, but the finale sucked. Write a dissertation if need be in the comment section. So, David Brent, please let them know where their comments or their dissertations go regarding Secret Invasion. You got it, Dave? Good. And there will not be another episode next week of Secret Invasion. This is the end. We're putting a bow on it right here. Right here. Overall, I'm going to say the series was a B. The first episode, I gave a B minus because it was very average. This finale was whack, C minus. But everything in between was like B plus and up to A. Nothing got an A plus to me, but A's two, three, four, and five. These were just very good and very well done. So will there be a, I don't see how, but. And another thing, Olivia Coleman finds a guy somehow. Like, I don't know how you just find a scroll. How do you just locate a shapeshifter? Seriously, she's like walking down the street or something. A car follows her and Olivia Coleman steps out of like an alleyway. Like, like how do you find a shapeshifter in the open? I'm sorry, my voice went up again. But anyway, overall, the series is a, is a B. Overall, okay? That's because of the two, three, four, and five. First episode average, as I said. Finale, whack. Whack. And this was something that I was looking forward to, this series. Marvel, MCU, you better get your stuff together. Seriously. Do your part, I'll do my part, so the Great Expanse by John Matt 426 can and will expand. It's in the name.